Hey guys, thank you all for tuning in and joining me. As you may know, we've reached 1000 subscribers. And to celebrate this, I wanted to announce this new course for creating a game character from start to finish. We are not creating the exact character on this promo video, but we will create a similar character from scratch. This course is suitable for beginners to start from scratch and learn things throughout the course, but some prior knowledge about softwares like ZBrush and Blender is also needed. Not any advanced knowledge or intermediate knowledge, just a beginner knowledge, knowing how to navigate through through those softwares and knowing the user interface. I'm trying to explain everything, but if you know the basics already, it will greatly help you. The software and tools that we are going to use in this course are as follows. For sculpting, ZBrush, or you can use Blender if you don't have ZBrush or you don't want to invest in buying the ZBrush. I personally using the ZBrush in this course, but you can do it in Blender also in the sculpting mode and it's almost the same. It's just that I'm used to using ZBrush for many years. For retopology, you can use Topogon, Blender without any add-ons or RetopoFlow add-on in Blender. For the UV unwrapping, we're going to use Blender for unwrapping and Unfold 3D for unfolding our UVs. You can use Blender for unfolding your UVs, but it just took a little bit more time. The Unfold 3D application, I think the latest version is 2018 or so. So if you can't afford it or you can't find the application, you can always use Blender. It just took a little bit more time. For the basic textures or texture painting, we're going to use Photoshop to start with the basic colors. Then we are going to use Substance Painter for materials and PBR texturing. Then we are going to import our model into Blender and use Rigify or AutoRig Pro for rigging. I'm going to explain both of them. So Rigify is the built-in add-on for Blender and if you can afford the AutoRig Pro, it's around 40 bucks. AutoRig Pro gives you some more tools to work with. To present our model, we're going to use Marmosa tool bag. You can use Blender, but the Marmosa tool bag has a great toolkit in order to show your model and you can export the Marmosa viewer from your presentation. Then we are going to import our model into the game engine. I'm not going deep into that topic. It's another topic for another course. But we are going to import our model into Unreal Engine with the basic movements. I'm going to separate this course into terms and sessions. Each video will be a session and a term consists of a few sessions related to the terms topic. The term one will be the anatomy. We're going to learn the anatomy for something like a stylized or semi-realistic characters. We're not going to go deep and learn everything about the realistic anatomy. That's for the realistic course. But the basics are the same, it's just the details that makes it realistic or stylized or semi-realistic character. Then for the second term, we're gonna learn how to create the armor in ZBrush and Blender and maybe we create a sword for the character. In the term 3, we're gonna retopology our character and our weapon to make it light for the game engines to use it in the Unreal Engine later. Term 4 is a UV unwrapping, we are going to unwrap the character and we are going to learn the techniques in order to unwrap and unfold your UVs. We are going to use the UDIM workflow in this course, you will get more familiar with the UDIMs. The reason I am going to use the UDIMs is because it gives you more resolution. The term 5 will be the creating the base textures, we are going to bake the basic textures in Blender and use it in Photoshop in order to create the base colors for our character. In term 6 we are going to import our character into Substance Painter and we will give materials to our character and complete the texturing with PBR texturing workflow. In term 7 we are going to import back our character into the Blender and we are rigging the character with Rigify and AutoRig Pro. In term 8 we are going to import our character into Marmosa Toolbag in order to create a presentation. We are going to setting up the light, the materials and the camera for our presentation. And in the last term and term 9 we are going to import our character into Unreal Engine in order to create the basic animations for our character and the basic movements. This is a vast course and it takes us a lot of time to finish. So please buckle up and stay tuned as we go through all the terms and sessions one by one. Also, if you have any questions, please comment them in each session's comment section. I will reply. So see you in session one. Have a great day. Bye bye.